Okay, so in this video, we're working on page six, which we had page five with about liquid. Now we're going to start on page six about gas. So surprise, surprise, you're going to need the definition for gas. Picture is the last part of this one. It's got the three parts. You're going to need the yellow gas card. And then part of a two-page pager, again, has talking about pennies, and the thing about what is bubbles. You need the what is bubbles half. So if you want to take a minute, pause the video and get those cut out. And we will get started with the definition of gas as soon as I get my picture attached and these out of the way. I got the, I got the drowsies today. Okay, so we're going to start with the definition of gas. Okay, so gas is matter, that's two T's, not an H, without any defined, so that we can also say that's without fixed, so no fixed, not fixed, let's just say not on there, not on there not fixed with any defined volume or shape. So if you want to write that next to it a little bit um, more simple, we can say no fixed volume, no fixed shape. You know that volume is the amount of space that it takes up. So we are going to do gas today. So three things, one, two, three, that are a gas. Yup, air. Took, took the easy one. Find three more. Three physical properties of a gas. So we're going to look those up. Remember, one, two, three. So physical property is what? It's something that we can observe without doing anything to the matter. Right. So what can we say about gas? So we're just going to Google physical properties of gas. Now I want to make sure that you put something that is makes sense to you. So they're not just going to be necessarily one word. So I'm going to say that they expand. That's a fancy word for grow to fill container. So remember in class when we were using the example of if somebody, I don't know, maybe it was our principal, farted, the fart wouldn't stay Mr. Hummer <laughs> sized. It would, if the door was closed in the classroom, it would become classroom sized. If it was open, it would become school sized. Okay, so let's look at the picture. We've got water in its gaseous form, which is steam. It's kind of how the water molecules move around. So if you look closely, you see that there's some that are lighter behind it. That's kind of like it's drawing that it's moving really fast. And that on there, remember, this has been like a temperature scale. This says hot. So we want a sentence about how the picture that I picked for you, look, I did half the word. And I gave you three pictures. It describes the word gas. When you're done, you're going to get that glued in at all the way at the top of the page again. Remember, we've got this page, which takes up a lot of room. But before we get to that page, pause and make sure that you've got that finished. And we're going to do this gas one. And you're going to need either a highlighter or a marker, um, probably a pen or pencil, to add in a little bit more information. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. Take that down. Okay, so we're talking about gas today. I draw bubbles. Okay, so our state or phase, the name of it is gas. Its shape and volume are not fixed and depends on the container. It can also flow. So why does it depend on the container? So the shape will, and the volume, so the volume is going to grow to the container. They're both going to grow to fit, right? 
go to fit the container. I know I put lots of arrows there. So movement of particles. How do the particles inside of a gas move? I know that after we did our first like sort of marshmallowy thing, I had a couple students that were telling me they were going to move like a gas. So remember that particles inside of a gas move quickly and are far apart. So they move like, you know, I want you to keep moving and they're far apart. So they're like, they're social distancing. You guys remember that, right? Let's still do that. So here we've got a, a cloud. So we've got air in its natural gaseous state, which you can call steam when it's hot. Um, so we could say that it's steam or the fancy science term is water vapor. And that is a gas. So let's go over here. A gas, the molecules that make up a gas, fly in all directions and at great speed. So great speeds means fast. They are so far apart, that the attractive forces between them are insignificant. That means they don't matter. Haha, ha, they don't matter. So you want to get that finished. Pause if you need to, and then set it to the side while we work on what is in the bubbles. So I forget about that. We're going to work on this one next. So what is in the bubbles? Hannah is boiling water in a glass tea kettle so, that's, so you can see through. She notices bubbles. Nobody has glass tea kettles. Bubbles forming on the bottom. So there's bubbles forming on the bottom. They're forming down here. You can't see my marker because it's yellow. That was silly. So there's bubbles forming down on the bottom of the kettle and they rise. So rise means that they float to the top, to the top and wonders what is in the bubbles. She asks her family what they think and this is what they say. So dad says they are bubbles of heat. Calvin says the bubbles are filled with air. Grandma says the bubbles are an invisible form of water. Mom says, the bubbles are empty. There is nothing inside them. Lucy says, the bubbles contain oxygen and hydrogen that's separated from the water. Okay. So which person do you most agree with? Most means you maybe don't agree with everything they say, but you agree with some of it. So, and why? Explain your thinking. So if your answer is, Mom, how many points do you think you're going to get on this? I believe that's zero because I want to know which person and why. So you're going to say, let's start our sentence. Um, I'll help you get it started. I most agree with blah, blah, blah. So you're going to put the name there. I agree. You can put a period. Not a comma. I agree with them because. So maybe you found out why you agree with somebody. You can also, maybe even for extra credit, if you want to say that like you picked it because you don't agree with somebody. Like for example, I don't agree with mom. The bubbles are empty. There is nothing inside of them. We know from watching our couple of videos on matter that like balloons have stuff inside of them even though they look empty. It's like, I don't agree with mom. Oof. So I could say something like, I know mom is incorrect because gas is in the bubbles. So they can't be empty. Just because it's gas and invisible doesn't mean it's empty. So you could say why somebody else you think is wrong. You can put my sentence as well. And then we're gonna get this stuff uh, attached in. So first you're gonna take your what is the bubbles and you're gonna put it on the left hand side underneath your word gas. Actually get it all the way over to the left. And 
and then again with your um, your card, your yellow one, make sure that you don't put glue on the whole thing, although it's not as important today. And don't make sure you don't cover up any of your writing. So I covered up some of mine. So just be careful that you don't cover any of it up. So your page six should look like mine with lots of complete sentences down here. Okay, that's page six.